Is it going to be a case of that again tomorrow? We'll see, won't we? Tomorrow we will see how corrupt the state is. Because, uh, I don't know, I've been just gathering today. Been on a bit of a gathering one. I mean, this is half of it. You know what I mean? <laughs> There's a lot here. There's a lot here. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Yeah, well, this is it, mate. This is it. And, um, I mean, there's a there's a hell of a lot of stuff here, you know. I can't stress that enough, yeah. This is a mental health hate crime. And uh, we all know how this should really be going. And, um, well, we're going to see, aren't we? We're going to see. Oh, hang on, let me just turn that off. getting off in the background now right so um first of all let me just start by saying thank you to everyone that's been supporting me through this um it's been a long ride you know what i mean and it's not over yet it's not over yet regardless of what happens tomorrow i'll say this now even if I don't get justice and I get railroaded tomorrow. If I get put in prison. When I come out. I will unleash a war. On the establishment. Right? I will. And I mean what I'm saying. Because there just comes a time. When. You've had enough, and I've had enough. I've had enough of the treatment by the mainstream media. By the way, any mainstream media, don't come tomorrow. I don't want you down now. You're only going to get told to piss off, so don't bother come down. I don't want to talk to you. I've got nothing to say to you people. Um, as a matter of fact, just don't come anywhere near me, because we all know the truth. Thank you, thank you. Um... We all know what the truth is, and we know that all, all of the mainstream media were hacking. All right, so don't think it's just the news of the world and the sun and that news group that were doing it. No, 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 no. No. They was all doing it. You know, this was their, what keeps being referred to as a culture. You know, they wanted to find out about a certain celebrity. They're pinging their mobile phones. They can tell you where they was. Listen to their messages. and They took the piss, basically. And we all, we all really know that... Camera sideways, is it? Hang on, let me do that. And then put it back like that. Has that helped? No? Hang on a second, let me just get that. Hello? Oh, baby, all right. Alright, listen, I'm just, I'm just live, yeah? That's alright. That's alright, it's in a minute. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Sorry, that was my girlfriend. Um, yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, it was all, it was all the, the press doing it, all the mainstream media, basically. And uh, it ain't just Murdoch. Although, I, you know, he's, for me, he's the main one. And um, I just want you all to know that tomorrow... It's just a diversion away from all of that. That's all it is. It's a diversion. This bloke here, with his friends, with his powerful friends. It's just a diversion away from the real story. And, um, I mean, as, you know, I want to show this to the judge tomorrow, or the magistrate. Yeah, have a look at that. 
I'll just hold that up for a sec, let you take that in. Yeah. You can see that. Ian Puddick, 6 of the 8th, 2018. I have good friends who are magistrates and judges. So how do I know he doesn't know the magistrate tomorrow? If I get railroaded, then we'll find out, won't we? The system of justice has been allowed to slowly decay, apparently to save money. I mean, how would he know that? You know what I mean? Here's another example of people that Ian Puddick knows. We also have XMI5 officer David Shaler staying at our office. I thought Puddick was nothing to do with MI5. I thought he laughed at things like that. So, um, you know, and this goes on and on and on and on and on and on. Here's another one. Ian Puddick, genuine. This one says, uh, four times very, very senior cops helped me throughout my trial. Three were Masons. Three of them were Masons. One was Assistant Chief Constable. That's what it says there. Um, you know, look, this guy has been allowed to get away with doing what he's doing. And he ain't just done it to me, he's done it to loads of people, from what I can tell. He's had a go at people, that mothers that have lost their sons. Um, you know, here's another example of... Uh, all senior cops went out of their way to help me. Chief, Detective Chief Superintendent, Assistant Chief Constable, not a Mason, DCI, DCI, not. I mean, this was in 2014, you know what I mean? Uh, to the bot fly. I think we know who the bot fly is, don't we, Mr Carhill? And I can prove that as well with your own tweets. And uh, so this is what you're up against or what I'm up against. You know what I mean? And um, like I said, this uh, this bloke's not just a no one. He's someone, which is why I suggest he goes on so confident. But I'll be asking the magistrate tomorrow, do you know this man? Because if you do... How am I ever meant to get a fair trial? Alright? And if it does all go tits up... I mean, look, here he is with the ex-defence minister. He's got MI5 people staying at his office. I mean, who is the bloke? Who is he? Funding Bill Maloney to put stuff into Andrew Ashe's head, make him come out with full stuff, but he gets away scot-free all the time. And uh, regardless of what happens to me... I promise you, UK public, right? No more diversions after this. If I go to prison, when I come out, I will fucking unleash hell on this establishment, right? I will unleash fucking hell, right? And I mean it, regardless of what these people do to me, because there just comes a point when it's like, right, enough now, enough, yeah? Enough. And, uh, you know, I've got a wealth of background and evidence on this guy. I've got proof that I reported him first. I've got proof from his own tweets that I reported him first. I've got proof he was funding me ninja cameras. You know, I've got proof he's interviewed Andrew Ash, telling you that I've, I've interviewed one of the witnesses. He gave graphic details of repeated rapes. He gave Operation Fernbridge 70 hours of interview. Done a two-hour interview with Andrew Ash. Yes, he did. Receipt for your ninja that you bought me. I mean, look, I, I'm going to go through them all. But it goes on and on and on and on and on. I think Mr Harvey ran himself over all on his own. Unbelievably thick and creepy. I mean, this geezer just loves taking the piss. And he's been allowed to get away with it for too long. And... Uh, at Brian Harvey X17 is nutter. He's called the cops and reported me for harassment. They laughed at him and left. He's a freak. 24th of July 2015. Right? It's there. It's there. 
admitted in his own words. So how is he allowed to keep getting away with this? Clearly he's connected to MI5 because he's got he's had David Shaler staying at his at his office. We know he's connected to Neil Wallace at the News of the World who I've got evidence against. I can prove that I've constantly, constantly reported everything that I've got. There's a whole list of people up the top there. I mean, you know, all sorts of people. No one can ever tell me that I didn't report this bloke. I mean, this is how confident he is. Look, after I'm arrested, 24th of the 11th, 2017, so a couple of days later, someone said to him, uh, if you can't take a troll, then get off Twitter, you big baby, instead of going to the police like dirty grass. Puddick says, I agree. If you agree, then why did you send the police round to that E17 dude's house? Look at the response. Wait and see. Wait and see, you know. Very confident. Very confident. Because you've got all senior cops going out of their way to help you. Telling each other to shush while you're in my house. Taking my computers unlawfully. Someone tweeted me about Brian Harvey from E17 and I replied, it's all in hand. Is it? Got your mates covering you, have ya? So, you know what I mean? Like, it's all here. And I'm sick of this bloke. And I'm sick of the diversions. Sorry, one second. Yeah, no, I'll turn it off. Oi! Shush! So, all I'm saying is, regardless of whatever happens, it ain't going to stop me, right? I've got phone tapping evidence. We've got Robert Kellaway lying, right, about his knowledge of hacking. We've got his police witness statement. You've got Puddick chasing behind when I have Peter Dukes coming round my ass, right? He's always following behind, talking to the people that I've spoken to, Tim Wood, Peter Dukes, you know? The evidence is overwhelming, <clears throat> and uh, this just needs to go where it needs to go, and I'm just hoping that um, this might be the platform that I need, you know, thing, it's, it's, it's come as a, it's come around in a bad way, but maybe it'll be a blessing in disguise in the end, you know, and um, yeah, this just needs to go where it needs to go. So if they put me away, they put me away. Do you know? Do what you're doing, because they're just going to do what they're doing anyway. Cause this is a stitch up, and we all know that. We all know that. But um, I just wanted to say, look to everyone that's been supporting me and making videos and is thinking of making your way down there. If you can't get down there, don't worry. Don't worry about it. You know what I mean? Don't worry about it. You can't all be there. I know that. But. Um, you know what I mean? We're going to have it right, regardless of what happens. So if they bang me up, fuck them. Yeah? Because when I come out, there's going to be a war. And if I get banged up when I come out, I will open up the GoFundMe page. And uh, together, we will seek out the best people. You know, we can throw it around everyone, and, you know, and, and we can all talk. Um, and we can all agree on who we should get to fight these people. And um, and bring them down because I think enough's enough. You know what I mean? And, and my evidence, what I've got within this, is probably the best that you're ever going to get. And uh, and I think the police and um, and the CPS and people that I've tried to help, like Puddy and Bill Maloney and that, everyone's shown themselves for what they are. And uh, the mainstream media only only want, oh, he's guilty of malicious communication. That's all they want, you know what I mean? That's all they want, that's all they care about, putting the boot in, putting the boot in. But you have to ask yourself, why? And the reason why they want to do that is because they know I'm right. And there's someone sitting in the background and he's very scared. And his name's Rupert Murdoch. And, um, 
You know, it goes where it goes. But I'll be there tomorrow, I'll pass nine. Trigger, calm down, please. And, um, yeah, I just wanted to say thanks to everyone for your support. And um, if you can't beat someone with all this evidence, then if I ain't got a chance with the, all of the evidence that I've got, then fucking none of us have got a chance, you know what I mean? No one's got a chance in hell. And, uh, like I say, if I get railroaded and I end up going down, when I come out, because they've already done it to me once, you know what I mean? They've already done it to me. And if they do it again, I swear to God, man. I fucking swear to God. But, uh, yeah, man, pray for me. And um, anyone that's coming down there, I'll see you down there tomorrow. Thank you. I was trying to read some of these comments. God is going to help me. I hope so. I hope so. I believe in karma and I believe in God. And, um, you know, I'm on, I'm on the right side of things in, in my mind and in my heart. So, you know, what happens, happens, man. But, yeah, so I'll be down there tomorrow. Thank you again to everyone for all your support and all of your messages. I do read them all. I do take them all in. I can see that there's a lot of people getting behind me. And, um, yeah, let's see what happens. Be down there, 9.30 tomorrow. I'm going to meet some of you. You know what I mean? I'm going to bring some bits anyway. Like I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you some bits while I'm down there. You know what I mean? I've got some evidence to bring with me on some stuff. So, uh yeah, I'll bring it and um, hopefully meet a few of you. And uh, yeah, let's just see how it goes. So thanks once again to everyone for your support. Lots of love to all of you. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna uh, have something to eat now, feed the dogs and get an early night. So I'm down there fresh tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I'm quite looking forward to it, if I'm, if I'm being honest, because listen, I don't give a fuck, yeah? I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I'm not having this geezer. Right? I'm not having it. I'm not having this shit being written about me and me reporting it and him keep fucking getting away with it. Yeah? Because he knows people like that. And he knows magistrates. I mean, that one. You know, I'm going to show that to the judge. Do you know him? Because if you do, I suppose that bloke ain't XMI5 either. You know what I mean? So uh, thank you for your support. Lots of love to each and every one of you. And uh, like I say, if I do end up going down by, by some chance, um, then when I come out, it is absolutely fucking going off. And, and war needs to be unleashed by all means necessary. You know, seek out the best lawyers, get a GoFundMe happening, and uh, bring these people down, basically, because... They can't keep getting away with it. They can't keep bullying people and, and walking over people because they've got no money and painting them up as mad. I ain't mad. I've had some problems. But um, can anyone fucking blame me after what I've been through and what I've had? I've come back from car crashes, fucking machete attacks. Do you know what I mean? And there's still one big secret that I ain't unleashed yet. Might even come out in court. Who knows? You know what I mean? Can't hold it in forever. But listen, thank you to everyone, yeah? And uh, I'll see you tomorrow. And uh, that's all for now. All right? So thank you for all your messages. That's all right. Don't worry if you can't come. It's fine. It's fine. It's not a problem. Do you know what I mean? All of the support that I've had already has been more than enough. You've been brilliant, all of you. You've been fucking brilliant. And um, yeah, tomorrow, man, it's on. Yeah? So lots of love to all of you. And uh, let's see what happens tomorrow. All right, take care, everyone, yeah? Thank you. Thank you for your support. Thank you. I really mean that. Thank you so much.